So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a screen recording on your Samsung Galaxy S10 or S10 Plus or S10e. But this will actually work on the majority of newer Samsung phones like the Note 9 or the Samsung Galaxy S8 or 8 Plus or 9 or 9 Plus. Anything that can access the Galaxy Store will probably be able to use this method. Let the download begin. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy, cool way of recording your screen. Again, I'm doing this on a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, but this will work on probably any Samsung Galaxy phone that is most recent or most updated. The app that I'm gonna use is also region specific, so it may not be available in some regions. I'll show you a really cool way around that little tidbit at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. Let's get started. Okay, so let me show you really quickly exactly how the application works. So with something this simple as hitting the application itself, you are now recording everything on the screen of your phone. And if I was just to go in, go through and stop, you can see that the recording is now saved within my gallery itself. So all I would really have to do is go into my gallery and that recording is available. And you can see that it basically just recorded everything I did on the screen of the phone with a simple button press. So let me show you really quickly how to access this application and how to use it to the best of your ability. The first thing you're gonna to need to do to access the application is you're gonna to need to go to your Galaxy Store. So the Galaxy Store is simply accessed in one of two ways. You can open up your app draw and you can go into your Samsung folder here. If you don't see it in your Samsung folder, then you can just hit the search bar and you can just type in Galaxy Store or an abbreviation of it and you should see it pop up in your search criteria there. When you hit that, you get to your Galaxy Store. It's gonna bring you into the main menu here. Once you're in that main menu, you can just hit the search bar on the top there. And then you're gonna type into the search box, good luck. So that's the name of the application that you're gonna to need to download into your phone in order for you to do the screen recording correctly. So once you do the search, pops up. It is the first option that appears on the top here. Just gonna click that option then you're going to have the install option there. So once you hit the install button, it's going to go through and install the application itself. Once the application is fully installed, then you're gonna open it up. And then you're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And what you're looking for is an application inside GoodLock that's called Nice Shot. So when you hit the Nice Shot option, it's gonna bring you to another screen where you're going to have to install the Nice Shot itself. When you hit install, it's gonna bring up some permissions and it wants access to certain things. So, you know, you can just agree to all or none and then hit next. And then it's gonna complete the installation process of Nice Shot. So now that you have Nice Shot installed in your phone, you now have the ability to do screen recordings and that can kick in when you take a screenshot on the phone itself. So now if I take a screenshot, you will see an option appear here for me to start a screen recording. And it basically just starts the screen recording of whatever is currently on the screen at that moment. Now there is also a way for you to set an application for the screen recording to begin in the nice shot settings. So if you go back into your Galaxy Store and you go back into Good Lock, You go into your nice shot settings and then it has a bunch of different option settings that you can do here. So you can actually set the different format. You can set to exclude the UI when you're doing a screen recording, delete files after sharing and off the screen recording quality. So you can mute the sound and set the recording quality to high. And this is the one that you want to do. So you actually want to add a shortcut to your desktop. So by adding the shortcut to your desktop, what this does is it gives you the ability to do that one button recording I showed you at the beginning of the video. So instead of actually just taking a screenshot, you add that shortcut to your desktop. And all you have to do is hit this button here in order to start your recording. So you hit that button, screen starts recording. You don't have to take a screenshot 
screenshot in order to get to that screen recording option. So with this application, you actually have those two quick and easy ways to do a screen recording. You can either access it by doing a screenshot or you can just access it by hitting that shortcut that you can put on your desktop through the application settings themselves. Now I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this is a region specific application. And if you happen to be in a region that doesn't support this at the moment, one of the easiest and quickest ways I've found to circumvent that problem is with a VPN. So if you don't know what a VPN is, we actually have a video about what they are and just a quick uh, tidbit about what they are really is it's just adjusting your IP address to make it seem like you're in a different area than you really are. So if you were to use a VPN on your phone and use a region that GoodLock is available in, then you can actually access this application and download it into your phone, even if you're in a region that it's currently not available. Now, if you enjoyed the video and you found it informative, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to share your thoughts, comments, and any questions you have about recording your screen on your Samsung phone down below in the comment section as well. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you so much for checking out the video and until next time guys. Peace.